My bank needs to verify my personal information. When will they get their act together? Ow! What was that? What are you doing? You never give personal information through email. Email is a very insecure form of communication. But my bank asked for it. I don't want to lose my money. Ow! Stop it! How do you know that's your bank? Because the email address is from my bank. You know, it's very easy to disguise an email address. No, it's not. Oh, yeah? Get any email just now? Um, yeah. It's from the president. He's asking me to take his place. Oh, it's you. You fooled me, little guy. See? Whenever you get an email asking for personal information, don't respond to it. If you think it might be important, the best thing to do is to call directory assistance for a number to contact the company. Well, thanks, little guy. Now I can start shopping for clothes. What? Why are you still here? Have you ordered clothing from that site before? No, but they have a really good deal on t-shirts right now, so I'm going to get some. Look in the address bar. Does it read HTTPS? Yes, I see it. Good. The S stands for secure. And if it isn't there during the checkout process, you could risk your identity. Now, it isn't foolproof, but it's a much safer way to transmit personal information. Order placed. Oh, wow. $10 off my next purchase by clicking here? Oh, I should have known. Be careful of those offers. It could be an advertisement from a third party that requires you to pay for a service before you get your coupon. Or even worse, malvertising. malvertising. Where they send you a fake website and ask you for personal information to steal your identity. Or even put malware in your computer and act just like a virus. Hmm, you're right. $75 a month to join a shoppers club. Yikes. Anyway, I'm gonna go see what's on DC++. Peer-to-peer -peer file sharing? I'll spare you the downloading copyrighted media is illegal speech. Even though downloading copyrighted media is illegal, and you can get caught, prosecuted, and owe lots of money. Peer-to-peer -peer file sharing software is really dangerous. You can accidentally share personal files like tax returns, emails, medical records, and photos. You don't want anyone getting a hold of that, right? Identity theft is right around the corner, too. Thanks, little guy. But can you leave now? I have to study for my exam tomorrow. Of course, but make sure you get rid of that sticky note with your password. I mean, are you serious? You really can't remember that your password is password? Try to think of something more creative. It's your first defense against hackers and identity theft. Think of a password phrase. Now use the first letter of each word with some numbers and characters scattered through it. And remember not to share it. You never know what you can get blamed for. And you can't trust anything that just walks into your room. I mean, do you really think I'm the only two-inch person in this world? Especially one wearing a Santa hat for no reason at all. Okay, now you're just annoying me.